How is everybody? Is everybody hanging in there with the virus going around? You don't have the corona, do you? Or do you at least have limes to go with your corona? <laughs> uh, it's pretty crazy here in Washington. Um, not necessarily where I live. I live about an hour and a half from Seattle. And from what I hear, it's pretty crazy in Seattle. My boyfriend works, you know, in Seattle, so... Yeah, I think as long as people, you know, just take the proper precautions, wash their hands, um, don't seclude yourself, live your live everyday life. You don't know when the last day is going to be, you know, when the day is going to be your last day. Do not sit in the house and seclude yourself. Well, that's just how I feel. Um... Make sure you wash your hands, use sanitizer. I'm still thrifting. I'm still going on with my everyday life. You, you have to, uh, for sanity reasons. So I hope everybody stays safe, and my heart goes out to anybody that uh, has come down with it or has any family members or knows anybody that has contracted it or if they've lost somebody due to it. Um, my condolences, and my heart goes out to you. So, on a lighter note, I just, uh, it's a thrift haul today. I went to uh, my honey hole, which is usually a $5 bag sell. They raised it up to a $6 bag sell, which I'm not upset about. I ended up walking away with 59 items, paying, um, rounded up to $43. That was $6 a bag. I got seven bags. Uh, that made my average cost of goods 72 cents. So, I did pretty good. Um, I'm just going to show you the things that I got for myself first. I didn't get that for myself. I just uh, picked up this because it was, it's not like a normal sports bra, but it's still a sports bra. It's just a, a dance, dance skin. That's for me. It has the crisscross back. So, um, I only wear low rise pants, and these were super cute. I normally don't wear skinny pants, but these are just indigo. Uh, rains, just like a, a olive green khaki color. So, hoping those will fit me or look fine on me. Um, I just got me a couple nightgowns. So there's one. There's another one. So let's get into the other stuff for resale. I got these. Just these uh, Nike shorts. They are a size extra large. You're seeing this hot pink uh, checkered material, the elastic and spandex waistband. Okay. I picked up these. Everybody knows that American Eagle does not sell for much, but it does uh, have a very high sell through rate if your pieces are trendy. So I picked up these American Eagle Super Stretch jeggings. They are medium, medium rise. They are a size six. I also picked up like this scuba material midi skirt. It's like an, uh, it's not really a cow print, but it's, you know, close to it. It is by it's by Agnes Dora. It's a size medium. Does anybody know anything about that brand? I hardly ever pick up her other stuff, which I did a couple of times here lately, but I've never found any of her clothing. It's Vera, which I know as soon as I've seen the print. Vera Bradley it is a size large. It's these, uh, these were in the pajama section, so I don't know if they're pajamas. They're like the cropped leggings that has a different geometrical design right there. They're like corduroy. So, um, make sure I pick those up. I also picked up this World Market. They are large, extra large, just pair of boho style um, pajama pants. They are, uh, let's see what they're made of. 
100% cotton. They're like really thin, silky. They have like this embroidered on the leg of it, on the cuff. I picked up these Asino. I think I'm saying that right. I might be butchering it. Size medium lounge pants. They're just like this silkyish watercolor. Uh, just pair of lounge pants. They are. I know oh, they have silk in them. Oh, they're 100% silk. I knew they had silk in them. They're really silky, really thin. It'd be great for the summertime. Pair with like the orange color. It would like make it pop really good. Yeah, that'd be nice. Soy boo. Size medium. It's just like this athletic skirt. It is pink and then it has like the pin stripes on both sides. It's just a little, I don't, I rare, you know, I stopped picking up this brand so much, but I really liked this top by Black House, uh, White Market. White House Black Market. I knew I said that backwards. <laughs> it's just this mauve, uh, tank with the, uh, lace up front. It's, it's real nice. It's real slinky, real soft. Um, let's see what the fabric is. It is rayon spandex. So, size medium. I also picked up this Ralph Lauren. I've never actually seen this label of Ralph Lauren. Has anybody else? It's like this blue and green, or black and with the green geometric pattern through the middle of it. This is 95 or 55% Angora rabbit hair, 30% nylon, 15% wool. So... It's just like this black eyelash sweater um, cardigan. It's really pretty. Um, it has this like uh, embellishment, these sequins on the bottom of it. So that's really nice. And on the hem are the cuffs of the sleeves. My cost of goods was 72 cents. I have 59 items. I spent $43, and that was rounding up. Um, I want to let everybody know that on Thursday, I will be live with Texas uh, Treasures at 5. Um, so I'm super excited about that. My first time I've ever be live. Um, I will uh, leave a link to his channel in the description down below. Also, if you're not already, follow me on Instagram at posture underscore... Um, M-I-Z-Z -Z underscore Nikki. Uh, you can also just type in hashtag Nick Pick Thrift and it should pop up. Um, there's also a link in my closet or a link down in the description that um, if you sign up for Poshmark using the, the link that you'll be credited uh, a $5. Sometimes it does jump to $10, but we'll just say $5 be on the safe side. So make sure you go ahead and like this video and subscribe to me if you are not. I did see that in my analytics for YouTube that 55% of my viewers are subscribed to me. The other 45% are not. So if you're not subscribed, guys, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, and go ahead and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload uh, a, new, a new video. So I just want you guys to know I do greatly appreciate y'all. I did pick up these Zenergy by Chico's size 2 or outdoor pants. They're just like these cropped. Um, it's like a taupe color. They have the zip back pockets. The snap buttons. The snap button enclosure. So those are nice. I picked up this Suzanne Betro. It's just like this... Uh, bell sleeved. I think that's what that is. I know it's called something else. Um, somebody can correct me in the comments down below. Um, it's just like this v-neck, umpire waist, baby doll style, floral. It has like this floral pattern on it. It's in this mint greenish color. It's a size large. It's in, it's like, like new condition. I also picked up these Lucy outdoor pants. It's like a wide-legged cropped pant. 
they are a size extra large. It is a snap button enclosure. It does have pockets in the front and back, and it has these like little Velcro um, side straps, so you can make them either tighter or looser. Really nice, really great condition. I picked up, uh, I don't know if anybody else likes Liverpool, I pick up Liverpool a lot. Um, every time I've ever picked up Liverpool, it's sold super quick for me and at a pretty decent price. Well, just the pants. I, that's the only thing I really have knowledge about. These are Liverpool, Los Angeles. They're size 6 or 28. They're just like these black denim high-rise skinny pant. They're in really good condition. They're super, super stretchy. I mean, super stretchy. They are called the... Um, the high rise ankle. So I also picked up this dress. It's a, this midi dress. It's like a satiny feel to it. It is by uh, Relax with two X's. I don't know. It's really pretty. It's very boho. It has these straps that are adjustable. It is a size. Two X. I picked up were these Eddie Bauer, the button up, so they convert into the uh, capri length, but they are they are pants, just a regular relaxed fit. They do have the back zippered pockets, the mesh uh, pockets inside. They are a size ten. Great condition. They also have the pockets on the legs, so great outdoor pants. I also picked up this Lane Bryant red tunic top with the black sequins. It's super slink. It's like super slinky. It's it's really pretty. It has a keyhole back, and it's a size 22, 24. So that's really that's really nice. And I picked up this. It's like a grandpa sweater. It is, um, it's like suede, black suede. And then it's the ribbed navy blue. It's by Summerland. It was made in Jersey, British Isles. It's size medium. I didn't look it up, but it feels really nice. And for 72 cents, I couldn't beat it. I mean, it has like these, these buttons right here. That are very detailed. It's very heavy, like not too heavy, but it's like heavier. And there is the tag. I mean, it's just like this. It's really beautiful, like suede. It's. Let me see if it's real suede. If it's real leather. The inside is yeah, that's nice, guys. I bet this is a nice one. I sh I'm gonna look it up before I post this, and I will let you guys know about it. And somewhere around here. <laughs> so, okay. The next thing I got was this Donna Rico Petite. It says six petite. It's just like this fit, fit and flare uh, potassio color dress. It's like a floral floral pattern on it. It's umpire waist. Real pretty. Back enclosure zip. Perfect for the springtime guys. It's because white is trending right now and they are new with tags. Um, the only thing that might not be trendy is the rise, but I heard that low rise is coming back. So it has the back enclosure, then it has like the uh, V in the front, so the front is lower. It's new with tags. It's um, XOXO. So I'm hoping to get it like 15 bucks for those. So, yeah. I also picked up this Cynthia Rally, and I'm hoping to get... I haven't been telling you guys what I'm hoping to get for everything, so... I'll start now. I got this Cynthia Rally. It's just like this It's like this overshirt. It's uh, in this olive green color. 
it's like a real mute olive green size small it's like a cinched waist right there so it makes it a little bit more flattering for you you can uh, button up you can button up the sleeves um, be great for the springtime so you can take it off with a, like a t-shirt or a tank top um, I'm hoping to get the same exact pair too let me see if it's so I got these two pairs of Calvin Klein jeans, size 8. They're like this medium rise, boot cut, dark wash denim jeans. Both of them are in like new condition. Like I said, they're a size 8. Cute. I usually don't pick up a lot of XO, but if it's cute, I will. I might sell it the, that. XO and this XO because they would—they're were about the same size together because they're black and white. That would look so cute. So it's just like this top. It's like a little crop, like a shorter top with the crocheted thing. You know, whatever. These vintage style uh, guess jeans—they are a size 31. They're just like this medium rise. Medium wash, straight leg jean with the guest emblem on the booty, the guest jeans up here. So, yeah, 76. There would only be one listing. They're the same size. They're both a size small. They're just like this uh, mint green jean vest. So, vintage uh, Coca Cola. A denim um, vest. It has like the leather um, belt loops that say Coca Cola on them. They have the Coca Cola on the buttons. Yeah. This is a size extra large. This Anonymous by John Carlyle. It's like the blazer length uh, leather jacket in a size extra large. Make sure it's leather before I say leather, guys. Yep, 100% leather. It's what's trending right now because it's, uh, you know, thigh length. They have slits up the sleeves. Zippered pockets along with other pockets. So, pockets everywhere, guys. There's two pockets inside that pocket. And then the zip up pockets. And the pockets up here on the breast. So, yeah, that's really nice. Really heavy. Like a swimsuit cover. It's like in this watercolors. It's a size at large. So. It has pockets, which is nice. That's really. I picked up this Adore bra. It has like the the strap going across the top of the breast. It is a size 38 double D. It's like in this black with the black lace over the nude. It's like new condition. And then I picked up this Adore bra, which is new with tags. It's just like in this uh, blush color. It is also a size 38 double D. I picked up this swimsuit, which I'm tempted to keep. I really like it. It's just like in this forest green. It's called the Lookbook Store. It's a size 6. It's like this crocheted one piece. But... It's completely see-through, like the lace has the, you know, it has the, you, can, you can't see through the bottoms or the right here at the breast, but the whole stomach and stuff is see-through, it's like crochet, it's real pretty. I picked up this, a Catalina bikini, a tank bikini top, it's real nice, it's like new. This is a size medium. I picked up this one piece. It's brand new. It's just a Nobo, like a No Boundaries. 
but I thought the stripes were really cute and it was new. It still has like the I picked up this to resell. It's just by um it's a new brand to me. Native. It's just like this white and black little thing. I picked up this uh bikini. I think I didn't know who this was by, it was new, but with new without tags, you could just tell, you could feel. But there is no name on it. Like the tag is see through. But let me see if there's an RN number. I picked up this, which the strap came off, but I have it right here. It's just a Lands End bikini top. So. I picked up this, which is Kazemi. It's just like a tankini top. It has floral pattern. I picked up this bikini top, which I thought was nice. It felt really like, it just felt expensive. It's by M Emia. I don't know. Has anybody ever heard of this? It's real nice. It feels nice. Picked up this by uh, Relic Re Relica Relica. It's just like this black. It's a padded, um, strappy front bikini top. And then this is by a shore fit. It's the ruffled front tankini top, like the baby doll style. <coughs> I picked up these bottoms. They go with that that shore fit right there. It's a bikini. It's a tankini set. A shore fit tankini. This is the last bikini top by uh, Jansen, of course. It's just like this nice little floral pattern design. And then I picked up a wrap. So, but I think I'm going to keep this. I absolutely love it. I don't know how it goes yet, but it's like a bikini wrap. Yeah, that's really cool. I like it. I think that's going to be mine too. Oh, guys, we have so much more and such good stuff. Remember, my cost of goods, guys, was 79 cents or 72 cents. So, you guys just imagine that each one of these items cost me 72 cents. Well, it did, but it's new with tags. It's a bridesmaid's dress. It's Da Vinci, new with tags. It is a size 8 in the chocolate buff beige color. It's just this really, really, really pretty. This back to it. So does have a back a zipper enclosure. I'm going to stay, stay stood up for all these dresses I'm going to show y'all. This one's nothing special, but it is. it feels silk. Let me feel. Let me see. 100% silk. It is a Moda International halter, uh, halter neck dress. It's like the umpire waist. It has like the flowy bottom. It is, let me see if it's lined. No, so it's just one of those little slinky dresses that'll fly up, like, remind me, like, if you're in the movies, like, in the old days, and the car runs by, and your dress flies up. Yeah, that one. So. This was a new with tags, Da Vinci, size 12, brides, bridesmaid dress in the claret and black. It's just like this fit and flare. Um, it's like a cranberry color. It's completely lined. It has like this black back, uh, black lace on the back. So yeah, that was a good buy. This is probably my favorite of all the dresses. I love this dress, guys. But, and I know she's a good. 
This is a Jenny, a Jenny U collection dress. I was watching, I know it was Becky Parks, and she said, that anytime you find it at a good price, pick it up. I believe it was her. It's just like this cranberry color formal dress. That is real just classy, um, real lightweight. It's like the tulle material. It's a size 10. It does have like the mesh uh, bodice area right here. So that's a little bit more um, sophisticated. Has like the deep V plunging back along with the front. It is a back uh, zip enclosure. Great condition, guys. Super pretty. Um, yeah, I'm in love with this dress right here. And I got this. Donna Rico, New York, size 6, black midi dress. It's real just slinky material, real classy. It could be, it's a staple to, you know, even a minimalist uh, closet. Yeah, you could wear it with a lot of things. Do a lot of different. The last thing I picked up was this David's Bridal uh, semi or formal dress. It's like a mini dress, neat T-length dress, strapless. It's a size 14. It has the back zipper enclosure, the ruffled front. It's like a coral color, real lightweight. Good for the upcoming summer, for the weddings. So, yeah, is everybody getting prepared for the summertime? For, you know, for, you know, dance prom seasons coming up. And then I paid 72 cents an item. That was my average cost of goods. It was a $6 bag sale. I bought uh, seven bags, and then I rounded up my change. So it's $43 altogether. How you get your average cost of goods is you divide that by the items you, you, um, how many items you got, and then that's what your average cost of goods is. So mine was 72 cents an item. I got 59 items. I spent $43 once again. Just want to make that abundantly clear. And don't forget, guys, to keep sanitizer on you when you're out. Try not to, um, Touch things and then touch your face or eat or anything without cleaning yourself. Um, like I said, don't seclude yourself, in, you know, inside. It's not healthy. And if something's going to happen, it's going to happen no matter what. Uh, yeah, you can't, you can't stop. The path's already laid out. So, um... I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I will be having an, a really good video. My next video will be a really good video on uh, some down and dirty secrets of Goodwill. Uh, and what they look for to send to their online department around my area. So don't forget to like and subscribe and press that bell notification so you can get notified every time I upload a video so you know when it is. And I hope you guys have a very prosperous week. I hope that you all stay safe, stay warm, and make lots of money. Bye, y'all.